episode two. To recap, I'm gonna go make some money. Uh, this is my good buddy, Adrian. Met him through Closer Cartel. Yep. Shout out to Luke Alexander for making that amazing program. Anyway, um, working for a good general contractor, mostly focusing on roofing, uh, storm restoration. But I have two jobs going on today. We're gonna go check them out. Who's it, who's it? Go get it. Get out of here. All right. So it's a beautiful thing to see construction going on. Uh, I have two builds today, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, I mean, even like construction like this, where they're building a brand new house, it's just great to see. One of two builds that I have going on today. Um, you may think that, oh, this is just a uh, build that I'm managing, but actually, I was the person who did the marketing for this job. I met the owner, I closed the deal, and um, I'm managing the project from zero to 100, um, from start to finish. Um, what we did here is we, um, they had hail damage. And so we're getting the insurance to pay for it. Um, the owner is out of town, so I've been taking photos of the entire process, uh, keeping him up to date. As well, you may see uh, we took the old roof off all the way down the decking. There was one or two boards that had some rot, so we had to replace them. We we're updating him with synthetic underlayment instead of the old black felt. We're also taking away the valley metal and we're giving him ice and water fuel. So um, let's get up there and I'll show you what we're doing. These are cougar paws. Highly recommend these if you're getting on any roofs. Um, there's crossfit shoes that have pretty good grip, but these have like a hard, um, like spongy type feel. You can see on the top it's, it's wearing kind of out, so I'm probably gonna replace these in the next few days. But um, definitely gives you ankle support and a really solid grip when you're getting on roofs. So I'm gonna kick my boots off and uh, put some cougar to the bottom on. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go up on this roof and um, show you what we're working with here. All right, it's pretty steep. But, uh, this is what a vent. I'm gonna put some uh, ventilation here. Just stacking up extra shingles there. All right, so we have about a 10 man crew on this job. Um, it's going pretty fast. Uh, started right and early at 6 a.m. And, uh, yeah. They've been getting the work done pretty fast. And uh, other than that, I think we will probably get this job done by the end of the day. Um, sun's out, it's super hot out here, but we are pay, we pay our guys well, and um, they are just knocking this out. Um, but yeah, this guy down there is uh, doing the starter shingle. Um, they use these pads here. To, uh, stop from slipping and uh, yeah getting the synthetic unlimit all the way down um, getting these nails out of the way and uh, knocking this out of the park. I'm gonna wake, make my way carefully back down and uh, check out the repair that he's doing on the decking. Um, other than that um, this is what a roofing system looks like.
this is the uh, the material we're putting up there. So weather wood, that's the color. And pinnacle for steam. It, uh, ow. It's hot. So this ends up happening sometimes when you're a project manager, not just a salesperson, is um, you have to become an errand boy for the crew. So we're having to run to the supply store. Looks like we're about 13 minutes out, so all undone, that's taking out, you know, 30 minutes of time where we could be, you know, doing outreach, doing some more marketing in the neighborhood where we just have to run errands. So it's a low value task, but I don't have any like assistance. Um, so this is just true what's gonna happen in, in the day of the life. All right, so this is the good old Home Depot. And you're a contractor, always having to run here. Here with Rhett Smith, we're just finishing his build, uh, picking up the nails with magnets, and um, so far, um, satisfied with the work. But what were you saying about when I first knocked on your door? Now, normally when a, a roofer knocks on my door and wants to get on the roof, I usually just send him away. Um, but this time I happened to be walking my dog 10 minutes before Jacob showed up, and I saw two roofs being put on and another sign in another yard, and I'm like, all right, well, I'll give him a chance. And he got up there, he, he saw some damage, and we decided to go ahead and file a claim and, and worked out with insurance. And hey, here we are, I guess, three weeks later, and and uh, I got a new roof. So the crew was very friendly, and uh, we had a good time you know, talking and laughing with them, and the work looks good, so we'll see how it goes. Yep, so now we're just gonna finish picking up the nails, gotta send the final invoice to the insurance company, get the final payments wrapped up, finish some minor things like a downspout and window screen. But other than that, you know, you're good for another 15, 20 years until there's like some crazy hurricane or something. <laughs> Sounds good. Thank you, Jacob. Yes, sir. So after this, it's uh, McDonald's time and uh, Modelo time for these guys. How fast can I do an inspection? <laughs> Alright, so um, we have just finished the wrapping touches. Oh, he's taking, he's taking my ladder down. Okay, we are just finishing the touches up of this roof. And, uh... Watch out, everything. Watch out. Yep, well, watch out. Hey, are you the um, crew manager? Huh? Perfect. Hey, I'm going to go grab you guys from some beers. Okay. What, what kind do you like? Uh, Modelo Corona. Modelo and Corona? Yes. Okay, how many guys do you have? Uh, ten. Ten guys? All right. Need to inspect the roof, but we're gonna get you some beers. 224. What? 224. 24? Okay. Thank you, my I'll see what I can do. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, um, yeah, we're above the tree tops right here. And, um, yeah, just wrapping it up. We're gonna put you on. We're gonna avoid it. Hey, this coach man, I'm gonna run the Nice. All right, we're still wrapping, wrapping up this build. I'm just coming up here to check on the work. I'm gonna take a few more photos uh, for the homeowner. And uh, stay in the life. I'm gonna go um, get JP. And we're going to uh, finish the day with some beers. Thank you. Go. Y'all visiting Houston or like what's up? I came here for work. So I work for a construction uh, company. Uh, yeah. I'm here for money. Trying to get this bag, bread, bro. 
trying to get that YouTube app? Of course. Uh, Alright, it worked. Alright, appreciate y'all. Have a good one. Yeah, bro. Day. I had two builds today and I also just did two inspections uh, on that same build uh, that I never really expected but um, you know it's 8 30 um, the day's not over yet I actually have a zoom call I need um, to catch as soon as we get back to the house so I'm gonna be catching on that seeing if I can get a third close um, and get this guy set up so, I'm gonna probably stay up till, I don't know, at least 9, 9.30, wrapping work up, and then from there I'm gonna be able to finally relax. So, peace out. Hope you enjoyed watching my day, and uh, stay posted for the next episode.